What do you want? I don't waste time with fans. So if this is about an auto print, forget it. You can buy one when I get more made up. I'm still upset about losing my ranking to that amateur Queedle. I don't know how he got so fast all of a sudden. We'll get it over with. Of course you do. Everyone wants time with the fabulous Cassandra Matil. There just isn't enough of me to go around. It was, but I can't seem to get a break lately. Kukta has been holding me off, and all he does is run over everything. And Quidle? What's he doing, Winnie? He's just a local amateur. I'm glad only a small crowd saw him blow past me. But this place is all there is, until the circuit recovers from the loss of Taris. It's going to take a while. Not within reasonable traveling time. I heard there was a startup on Tatooine, but I'll stick with the legitimate tracks. Thank you very much. Huts aren't to be trusted, that's all I'll say. Two years. But that's more than enough time to know the secrets behind this sport. It's all about the image you portray. Hukta is the thug. People like him because he's mean. I'm the pretty one, the one that people want to take home. Even if we don't win, we're easy to remember. That keeps the fans coming back. So race organizers want us at their tracks. Local racers don't bring in off-world crowds. They need us. At least they would if there was still a functioning circuit. It was, but I can't seem to get a break late. But this... Not within reason... Two years. But that's more than enough. It was, and but this place is all there is. Not within... Kukta Jax is the only other professional here besides me. He got where he is by making sure everyone knows he's the toughest racer out there. The only other name I know is Queedle. You heard about him taking it all, right? I don't know where he got the speed from. Yes, yes. Don't hurry back. What can I do?
Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Kolto is a precious resource. Its healing powers are near miraculous. During times of war, Kolto becomes even more valuable. As long as we have the permits, we will continue to harvest Kolto and ship it to our Republic soldiers battling against the Sith. Of course, the Sith enjoy the very same privileges. If there was some way we could gain an edge over the Sith and our Kolto supply. But the Selkath are fiercely protective of their neutrality in this conflict. They do not want to grant either side an advantage. A beautiful place, Sato City. A paradise on the water. But remember, within the city itself, the Selkath have absolute authority. They're a tough race, but fair. Obey the Selkath laws, keep the peace, and you should encounter no problems. I assume you received a visitor guide to the city when you docked your ship. I regret there is little I can tell you that's not in the visitor guide, my good Jedi. My duties rarely permit me to venture beyond the walls of the Republic Embassy. Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manan? Hmm. Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Firaxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manan. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Good. It's a logical place to start. But you should also hear about the other options available too. We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Good. It is a very intelligent and skilled individual who can crack the matrices of a Sith encryption system. But there is one last method you should know about in case all other options fail. The Sith have got the Seldkath to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Good choice. We've been working at that for a while, but it's been too difficult so far. Maybe you'll have better luck. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information.